Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. So, I have uh, filmed an unboxing of uh, the last Chanel purchase I made in 2018 and included in that purchase uh, is um, the Paris Deauville uh, body lotion. Now, you can check out, for those of you who have seen that video, you will see that I unboxed a lot of different things uh, from Chanel in that video, but uh, at the end I also unbox this and I talk about it and I thought well for the people that are only interested in actually this lotion I will take that segment of that video and create a new video out of it so that you could have the unboxing videos separate but you could also see the body lotion review exclusively just the review here and there's a couple of things I want to add before we get into that video uh, about the product itself now what is interesting about Deauville um, Chanel mentions and you could check out the reviews of uh, the Eau de Toilette of Deauville, which I made uh, this last this past summer. Um, Chanel does state that it has uh, patchouli in the dry down. Now, uh, I'm not a big fan of patchouli. And usually patchouli doesn't really go well, no matter where it goes. <laughs> to me, just, patchouli imperial by Dior is amazing. That's kind of one of those rare patchoulis that I really like. Uh, the sweet chulis out there, you know... Uh, Eh, Coco Noir is okay though, but mm, I'm not a big fan of these sweet chuli fragrances. Here, however, if there is any patchouli, it's so well blended in that it does not annoy me at all. It's just natural, natural, natural. And this is why I'm wearing this. I wore it in the other video too, but I'm wearing this uh, Vivian Westwood piece. Uh, Vivian designed it herself. She does all the knitwear with all the kind of thing that she calls grinning like one color on the inside shimmering through the outside kind of natural reminiscent of her nostalgia of mud collection that's the color palette it's kind of a muddy uh, hue very natural from nature look this is also why I'm kind of letting my hair grow and my natural color is here now and the cut there's no product in this hair I just washed it there is no sh <laughs> there is shampoo but there's no hairspray there's no um, mousse or anything in here I just, I'm really, really feeling that natural flow of things. I know everybody out there is so pushing forward this bleached agenda. And I mean, you know, I, you know, my older videos, I mean, I've 10 years of bleach and I'm kind of out of it. Sometimes I miss it and I think I want to go back to it, but I really want to, I'm feeling that naturalistic look again. Not really going for the hippie vibe, but just really natural, natural. The, the things as they are, let them be as they are. You could, you know, buy wonderful products, eat healthy, drink a lot of water, buy great creams, and just take care of yourself, but don't enhance something artificially. I'm, I'm kind of feeling that at the moment. I'm not saying that's the ultimate truth and that's how things should be. I might change my mind next month, but since a couple of months, I've been going more into that natural direction. And so this is why also, I know there's, I know that these products have a lot of chemicals in them. These are not really natural products, but they smell so natural. They smell really amazingly natural to me. So I kind of think the whole kind of look fits, like my mood, my state of being, my state of mind at the moment really fits this sort of fragrance more than something overtly um, artificial that is really wanting to be artificial so I'm really tired I'm tired of seeing all you know on YouTube and on Instagram all these places all these bleached people with all these highlights with highlighter makeup on um, with painted hair uh, fillers and the lips and the cheek like it's just become such a cliche and it's become so normal you know uh, everything from from tattoos to it's like a lot of people need tattoos nowadays to be models. Um, I don't got a single tattoo on my body. And I'm really enjoying just having that freedom. If I wanted to, I could choose to have a tattoo one day. But I still have that choice of saying, no, I don't want one. And my body is tattoo free. Not judging who has tattoos. I'm just saying I'm really embracing that natural approach to things. And it's really, I don't know, it makes me feel good. Now, I know that... At the same time, it makes you kind of, you're judged by a lot of people because they tend to, they're already poisoned so much into uh, believing that um, what brand marketing is telling us is supposed to be the look. 
They think that that's actually something to look forward to, to strive towards, to strive towards in such a degree that it becomes almost natural to, to look that way, when in fact it's not. So it's funny how I've realized that once I embraced myself the, the way I am with, with, with the hair, okay, now it's like growing, but you know, this whole kind of just me, <laughs> being me, and looking the way I look, uh, since that has happened, um, I'm being criticized more. And that is so fascinating to me because I'm not going to, I'm not having it. You know, I ain't having it. This is exactly who I am. And I have stripped down as much as I could of all the artificiality. And now that I'm here the way I am, um, I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I should enhance this, change that, flip this, fill that, decrease that, alter this, cut that, bleach this, tattoo that. I don't want to. If I want to, I'll do it, but I don't want to. I'm really, really feeling the natural thing. So, uh, I can also tell you now I have, um, the Chanel rose oil, the massage oil that's going to be reviewed pretty soon. 98% or 99, 98% of the ingredients are all natural in that uh, particular oil. So that's also something to look forward to. As far as these co are concerned, I just wanted to read the notes uh, we have in the top notes, lime, lemon, bergamot, Sicilian orange, and basil. Then we got Hidian in the middle notes, green notes, uh, rose, and jasmine. And then in the base notes, patchouli. Um, uh, Petit Grain is also in the top notes. Now, you can imagine, <clears throat> I've already mentioned it in the video, which you're going to see now in a second, but all of these citrusy tones in the head notes should make the perfume sparkle. It does, but it's also, there's a lot of um, alcohol in there, obviously. So the alcohol sometimes does help things sparkle, but sometimes it also kind of drowns them. And this is uh, not the case here. In the body lotion, you will smell out the sparkliness of the citrusy top notes. And that's really amazing because they're like crystals almost. They're, they're, they're crystalline, fresh, and cut very precisely uh, within this the creaminess of, of the lotion. And um, so I can almost say that in case you're on a, on a budget and the hundred and something uh, dollars uh, that you would spend for 125 ml uh, perfume, this one is around 50 bucks and it's 200 ml. So it's like cutting in half, practically, a bit more than cutting in half the cost of the perfume and you get a really good quality uh, lotion. So the price is fine. And also for the winter months where you need a little bit more hydration on the skin, I think it's worth it. It's one of those rare moments when I say that Chanel didn't really go all crazy with their pricing. Some people might complain that it, the texture is not as rich. It's, it's very watery. You know, it's a lotion. It's not a cream. But to me, it's just perfect. For my type of skin, it just hydrates me the right way. And I know some skins need more nourishment, but then guess what? In that case, you could, you could buy a more nourishing, fatty, greasy cream uh, that's not branded, that doesn't have any perfume. You could even go to the pharmacy and get one that's not scented. And then mix a little bit of this in there. So you could, you know, you could kind of amp the richness of Deauville so it's not just a body lotion anymore it becomes a cream but the smell of it imbues itself or imbues completely the the, the cream the non-scented cream that you could purchase in a pharmacy or or some organic store or wherever you know you, you get a chance to for much cheaper so that's kind of an idea that I had uh after that I wanted to add after uh, I shot the actual unboxing and and review of this one so that's that, guys. I hope you enjoy the review that was pre-shot that you're going to see right now. Chanel Paris Deauville. The body lotion. Or do they call it? Body lotion. I'm really curious to see the packaging on the inside because I have only until now purchased the fragrances. 
from the Lizzo uh, range. And um, I really love the packaging of the other toilets, which are actually other colognes, but you know, whatever. And now I'm looking forward to seeing how the inside of the packaging looks like for the uh, body lotion for the body products. Okay, so it's it's kind of like the inner inlay of the perfumes, but flipped outwards. I love that. Very minimalistic. And then right on top, you get a little card that explains to you how to twist and open your body lotion or shower gel. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good right out of the box. Okay. And let me put this down. Okay, we put it down. And this is the body lotion. It has a slight green tint to it. Now, this sticker I suspected would be a problem, and it is. When they put the bottle in, the sticker didn't peel, but it got bent a little, dented just a little bit there at the corner. That's because this is a, a quite a thick sticker that they put on top and then they kind of just slide these into their boxes and then of course they can get a little bit damaged. But having a sticker is very elegant. However, this is plastic uh, so it's going to bend a lot. So the sticker will not really... I don't know. I think they should have... It's elegant to have a sticker. I get it. But I think... Um, the name of the fragrance should have been printed on the plastic or if sticker, then the sticker should have been a plastic sticker, not a paper sticker, because this is going to get ruined. I mean, if you travel with this stuff in a beauty case, like this is going to look really trashy and dirty uh, very soon. Now, how you uh, open it, you literally twist like that. So let me come in close. Okay, so when you twist, so let me put a little on the skin. So we twist. And then there's a little tiny, tiny slot. So when you twist it, a little slot opens up there. And then we... Okay, so when we put out the liquid, I have an issue here. This stays kind of dirty, so if you want to clean that up, you really can't because it's dented inwards. So there's always a little bit of cream or of lotion that kind of hides underneath the lid. So it, it's, it stays messy. Um, yeah, that's something I'm, I'm, I'm not so keen on, but I'm kind of happy that Chanel is um, developing these new strategies for opening their bottles, you know, with the magnetic clasps as well, this, or um, with their travel size bottles, the 20 milliliter uh, Chanel number no. five, or uh, Chance kind of turn the metal bottles and then the, the little sprayer comes, pops out and closes. The little press magnet press-ins for the lipsticks, like they have these inventive solutions, creative solutions. So this one is also one of those kind of Chanel high-tech renditions of uh, how a regular lotion or shower gel should open and close. However, uh, so as I put the cream and was blabbering, or the lotion, you could see how it started kind of pouring. It's very, very liquid, but it's, it's just the right texture for me. Now, why I ended up purchasing this was because um, this winter, uh, oddly enough, it was, um, my skin usually never really flakes. It's never really dry, but this winter, for some reason it is, but not too dry. So I didn't want some really, like, I didn't want a body cream. I didn't want something too rich in texture. I just wanted something light with a bit of oil in it. Um, and so this, this just has the perfect, perfect texture for me. 
And the smell is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, it's, it's so good. It is literally Deauville, but like more intense than actually the, the fragrances because it sparkles more. The cream with, with all the oil that's in it, it kind of makes all of that citrusy opening hues and the basil just sparkle. It's just like tingly, sparkly smell. I mean, it's delicious. And then, you know, I actually layer it with Deauville, but you can also layer it with anything else. You could also layer it with uh, Paris Venice or Paris Biarritz. It doesn't matter. You can find the combination that suits you uh, most. Now, I'm not going to rub anymore because I don't want to pop the molecules of the fragrance. We rubbed in the cream and I'm just letting the fragrance set in on top. And then let's see how this works. Wow, it's so intense. I mean, we have to like let it just sit, but it, it just smells so sophisticated, really. Like nothing out there smells like this. Olivier, um, in particular with Deauville, nailed it perfume wise and also j just the smell of it. it. It's so simple, but so different than all the other perfumes out there. It's actually too intense now. I should have, well, for the sake of this video, I did it a bit quickly, but usually I would take a shower and then I would put on the lotion and then, you know, I would get ready, do my hair, do everything else I have to do. The lotion is absorbed by the skin as I'm doing my other stuff. So let's say 45 minutes later, I'm about to leave the house. And then as I'm about to leave the house, then I would spray the perfume on top. Um, that way, the cream would have had more time to actually get absorbed uh, by the skin and the fragrance or the scent of the cream would have had more time to mix with my own essential oils. And so to add a layer of perfume on top of that is, is the best timing and it's the best kind of dosage you could do. But uh, doing it right now, like putting the perfume right after the cream is a little bit, it's very strong, but it's still beautiful and you could smell it a mile away. It's really that good. Um, Layering it does boost its power, but I would also say alters the actual fragrance itself. I still do prefer to wear them separate at the end of the day. Uh, if my skin is not dry, it's well hydrated on its own. Uh, I would just go for the Deauville fragrance. Um, or if it's a very dry day, I would just go for the cream. Then I wouldn't do the fragrance. Or if I'm going to do the, not the cream, the lotion... I would put the lotion in places where I wouldn't spray the perfume. So, you know, um, let's say he, in this area here, the elbow area where usually drier, there, up here more, shoulder, um, the leg area, the knees, that's where I would put the lotion. And then the perfume, the perfume would go here, there. Well, if I'm wearing a bracelet, it wouldn't go there, but the perfume would go probably there. And then it would go on the neck and the chest area. So that's where the cream or the lotion wouldn't go, but that's where the fragrance would go. So oh, my knee just broke. Um, that's what I would definitely do in terms of not just Deauville, but also if you if you like the Paris Venice or the Paris Biarritz um, products, you could you should consider like wearing them separately, you know. The, the shower gel, well, the shower gel is a totally different story. Just talking about the body lotion and the perfume, just do the body lotion on its own or on a part of the body where you're not going to spray the perfume. Test that out separately, then test it out layered, test it out layered at once, test it out layered in a span of time where you first put the cream or the first you put the, I keep saying cream, first you put the lotion and then like one hour later you put the perfume on. So there's a lot of different ways of wearing it and every way, every way of wearing it, it does deliver a different type of outcome. But it's so good. It's, it's just so delicious. And the body lotion adds a creaminess to the smell of Deauville that is just insane. The Deauville Eau de Toilette, which is actually an Eau de Cologne, but whatever, um, does have a dryness to it that is so almost powdery in a way, like dusty. I adore that touch. 
the cream doesn't have that. So the cream goes in a, it's the same smell, but it goes in a different direction. It doesn't go towards the dryness. It goes towards a certain sort of humidity. Um, also really beautiful. And very, very sophisticated. Oh my gosh, it really smells of times long gone, but in the best of ways. So guys, this video has been way too long. My um, 10 minutes are up like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Start it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please do thumb it up. And if you haven't already, but uh, wish to or consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and also on Patreon if you wish to see special videos that are only available there or videos that first get launched there and then come to YouTube, be sure to check out Super Dacob All Spelled Together on Patreon and become a patron. Other than that, you could also purchase the Never Give Up On Love Fashion Bunker merchandise. All information on that is in the description box down below and also in the bar that is scrolling underneath the video where you could click on certain products and go to the Fashion Bunker store. Thank you guys so much for watching. Time is a ticking and we're spending it together. So never give up on love. Love ya. Bye. Mwah.